there are kids playing there. They're like three, four, five, and six. They're cute kids, right? And they're playing around. No noises. No noises or anything. The kids, you can't expect a kid to sit there silent for an hour and a half right. at that age. Yeah. Old uncle comes walking up to them. This is dangerous. Walks up, stands over them. And you know how sometimes the the grandi will go through the lines of the Sukhmani Sahib. He'll take a breath, carries on, then a breath, then that. This guy timed it. No playing cards in the Darbar Sahib. And the kids are looking up like... <gasps> The dad's sitting in front and he's like, oh, this is awkward. What's up, people? Welcome to this week's episode of the Indie and Doctor podcast. Back in person, London HQ. You, you, Flipping you, you, finally. You, 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 you. So glad you're here for once and I don't have to go to Birmingham. Oh, wow. You're I so, love my family very much. You're so glad that you don't have to go and see mom and dad. Is that what you're saying? No, I love my family very much. Yeah, but, I love how you put that little camera But I come up yeah. there way too often. <laughs> Yeah, but let's be clear. You don't come up to podcasts. You happen to podcast because you're there. No, I try and batch. Yeah, but you're coming for another reason. There is always another reason. You've never come just to podcast. Is that correct? No, that's not true. I have come once to podcast. Once to podcast only. When? A couple of times. Well, I've like I've said that's a podcast week that we put in because you were free. Yeah. And then I'm like, well, I'm coming up that weekend then. Okay. And then you find other things to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'll well, find I'll, stuff to do. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. There's always stuff to do. I'll take that. All right. That's nice of you. Yes, I am here, guys. And again, I'm here because I flew in from Heathrow yesterday. You'll find out in the, in the episode because we'll be talking about Dubai. And um, in my head, unrealistically, I was like, you know, I could even land and shoot content yesterday. <laughs> I, was, I was not in a position to shoot content. Yesterday, we, we rocked up to Indy and Sanjay's house. And bear in mind, we've been here a lot. Mm. And we just, me and Shindy, both very tired, just parked our car at the wrong entrance. And we're like, Where, where's Indy? <laughs> Where, where's Indy I'm like sure it's this road and then he rang us he goes you're not in the right place no because so. you're like I'm outside I'm like no you're not, no, you're not. <laughs> I was like all looks the same though all looks the same I was like come next road you're like okay yeah. and, and then I know you... when I'm tired because basically I just start blinking uh, and I double blink uh, so I'll be sitting there and I'll be like yeah and I'm like okay uh, then you yeah. got out the car and you put your backpack on after unloading the dead cheese and you tried to get back in the car with your backpack on <laughs> I said do you want to give me the backpack you're like oh yeah and I'm like you're really out of it <laughs> I was not going to be this close to steering wheel I'm like something's not right here <laughs> I was surprised he was oh I could tell I was like he's out of it Bachara. okay fine as soon as you get upstairs just sit him down and give him some food he'll be fine yeah absolutely that's how I felt when I came back from Portugal Spider-Man comes to you. and you I watch felt, Spider-Man felt, and you watch Spider-Man and I filmed do you know content. what I yeah. Full appreciation, you've flown, you've watched a, a long ash film. Nearly three Then hours. we've shot content. And then you've, I remember when we were eating food. Half 11. Oh, like, so yeah, yeah. You had the fries and <laughs> you were just like, why am I doing this? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even want it. <laughs> I didn't want to be here. I want to go home with my bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? And then ask him like a really serious question. He's like, all right, then as long as you've asked me this question, I've got to give you like a thing. <laughs> and then it opened up a whole lease of life for me and it was like half 11. And I'm thinking, okay. Yeah, you know what? Let's carry this on now to midnight. Then I was like, shit, I've got to get up. I've got to work in the morning. Then I went to mum's, slept, woke up for work. And I was like, that was a bad idea last night. But all it happened. This is what we do, guys. This is behind the scenes, Indie Doctor podcast. You know, mm. it doesn't happen without a lot of sacrifice. It's fun, man. It's fun. Yeah, the it's process fun. is fun. And uh, so, yeah. There we go. If you want to kick it off with your segment introduction. Come on. Uh, give me a one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Ready? One, two, three, four. Confessions of Brown Monday. You haven't got the cut today, have you? Have you? No, I haven't. Yeah, exactly. I've got Banda Banja today. That's fine, that's fine. But uh, I'm just trying maybe a few different variations, guys. If you have a specific type of way you like me to sing it, mm. then I can do that because, you know, I can clearly sing. You can. Very, very impressive. Go on, Baji. Send me on my way. So, I'll tell you something that pisses me off, right? Here we go. Oh, I've been waiting for this. So I am obviously Mr. Optimizer, right? It's not a, not, no, it is, it is a well known fact. Yeah. Okay, so we're in Dubai, family trip. I'm uh, sharing room with my cousin, Baran, love him to bits, Masi Lamunda, super, super tight, Baran. Uh, so I'm early this year in February when we went to India. Nice to see him again. And uh, he is not organized. Let's just put that out there. <laughs> and so it's Dubai, it's hot. It's like 40 degrees. It's, Shindy would walk out the 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 room uh, and then just be going like we had basically four rooms, two next to each other on the top and two on the bottom. And she'd walk out one room to go to the next one. So not far. And as soon as she walked out the room, her glasses steam up. Yeah. Like it's hot. Yeah. yeah and you just and I'm like, it's it's so hot that you're like, what is the point of showering? Yeah. 
you shower and you're instantly gilla. Even if you're going from the room to the gaddi. Now, because of Nani you've got an accessible room. They're all very close mm. to walking mm. distance to the lobby where you give the valet ticket and the car comes around. How is Nani in, in the weather? Is she okay? She's fine. Yeah? Yeah, wheelchair and buggies. Good, good. So it's hot, right? So because of that, when you're doing excursions day trips, what must you take with you? Barney. Barney. So much Barney. Right, so you know I got more. No, I got so more. much Barney that you don't even wee that often. Yeah, yeah. That's how yeah, you yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And when you do, and you're like, oh my God, it looks like apple juice because you're just losing so much. And this is only 600 mils. It's not that much. But anyway, Shindy had 500. Hers. I had mine. It's 600. 500. It's 600. It says in the vice, high five. Yeah, if it's more than that, it's 600. I don't know. That's, you know, strangely you said that because when I bought it, it's just, I know where it says that. 500, 18 ounces. Online, it says 600. Online, online. It didn't tell you the truth, did it? It's 500. Jovi I think it's 550. It's 550. Half, half liter, right? Shindy's got her black one under armor, slightly bigger than mine. And um, That's new, by the way, her bottle. I saw very, that. Very I was like, oh, okay. Very, very nice. Very, very, very effective. And so we've got some barney we've prepped, right? So then we, you know, we go out and uh, obviously it's hot. Everyone's feeling the heat. Mm. And then, you know, in the bottom season we're drinking my barney. Mm. And then uh, what does he decide to do? Lips it. No, it's not about the lip sync. Uh, well, you no, know, it's not about that. I don't mind, right? It's more... Why have you not brought your own bottle? <laughs> Where's your preparation? How many days in are we at this point? No, this is like the penultimate day. Penultimate day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it, it's just because the thing is, most of the days we've been um, going to the malls, which is fully air conditioned, accessibility to drinks. He doesn't need my, he doesn't need my basic Barney because he's buying... Bottle of Barney everywhere. Oh, I just, he's buying more interesting drinks, right? But this day we've gone to like all Dubai. There's a guy there called Yusuf Bai. I don't know if you've heard him, he's a YouTuber. He's quite... No. He, India, not India, Kenny and uh, Parliament had heard about him. He basically, you can take any perfume, Tom Ford, Menga Menga, and he just basically smells it and then he just makes it. Wow. It's dirt cheap. So Shindy's got a couple, Kenny's got loads of like different ones. And even ones that, so my um, Mont Blanc that I wear, Midnight One, I didn't have it with me, but we showed him the ingredients mm. and he just gives you samples and you keep doing it until he gets it right. So anyway, we went there and you have to walk around more. It's not obviously like a mall, it's outside store. And this is where you want to have my barney. He's like, I can have some barney. And I can't say no in it. Like, someone asks for barney. It's, it's a proper dick move, isn't it? But no, you can't have my barney. Why don't you bring your own barney? That's what I'm feeling in my head. Why don't you say it to him? No. Man. And then, so you had the barney. And then he drinks all of it. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, oh. Well, <laughs> did he drink it and go, ah, at the end? No, so he didn't do the noise, but I'm just like. <laughs> if he did the noise, that would be fucking fantastic. I'm just, it's just, I don't like when people aren't prepared. Um, like okay, that's that. This is not this is non bottom related now. So that was just one about bottom. Bottom, I love you, bro. You know I love you. And you watch all the content, so thank you for giving me content for this idea. Uh, but it was but get organized, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> People want to shoot content all day, their own stuff, and make videos and stuff. What's gonna happen to your battery? Dies. So what do you need? Battery pack. So bring one. <laughs> why, why why rely on me and my gear? <laughs> for I mean, to be fair, Bottom did end up using my power bank one day. He ended up renting a power bank one day. The malls actually have those stations. Wow, okay. Them, which is fine. Um, but like, he, so he's bunking with me and he, he hasn't got a thought to charge his phone at night. So you had to split time, time your thought charging. I had one for the car, for Apple CarPlay. That stayed there. I had one for myself, one for Shindy. Mm. So I've optimized to my level of optimization. I don't need to carry extra thought. You've got my lunchbox, which yeah, yeah. box got the rest of my thought. And um, so obviously then most of the days his phone is dead in the day. And I'm like, bro, like, it's just in general, like, why don't people prepare better? I just don't understand why people don't prepare better. You, you know what you need, right? So you should have access to Barney, have a reusable bottle, or have means to... Even if you buy one somewhere. Give me a Gurren's hierarchy of needs. You know, Maslow, give me a Gurren's hierarchy of needs on holiday. You know what? Yeah, because it depends on situation. It depends on environment. Nah, give me... Okay, hot holiday. This holiday, give me a hierarchy of needs. I'm not hierarchy at the moment. I'll have to sort that out, but let's give you certain things. Okay. Right, you need, you need a bag. Yes, backpack essential. Yeah, but we could show people the other thing I got. Key. We'll talk about it because we talked about it lots. Oh I'll yes, we have. We'll do we have, a reveal. We have. We'll do, we'll do a happening. reveal in what's, in what's happening. happening. Yeah. So there's that. So you need that. Um, right. You need a form of payment, which doesn't incur transaction fees. So Revolut or a Mont. Yes, you do. So everyone should have that. So have that. Barney, means to Barney, looking out for get, refillable Barney. Uh, hang on, did you get a Revolut? No, I would have got it from you because you got the offer. I know, I know to do that. Come on, man. Come on, Monzo, man. Monzo, I want Monzo. that 50 quid. I'll split oh, it with you 25 each. Monzo. Reinvest it back into the podcast, man. Come on. <laughs> um, power bank. Power bank. Okay. So, so far we have backpack. Yeah. So within the backpack, this is what I'm going to Hang on. So you've got backpack in the backpack. You've got a power bank. Power bank, a pen. Card payment. Card payment. You've got pen. a pen. 
Yeah, some dry elastic bands. Elastic bands. Always come in handy. Carabiners. Carabiners? Uh, you know, the things that clip onto the Oh, your yeah, clips, clips onto the bag so you can clip your water bottle onto. Yep, yep. So it's hands-free and you've got more Six, room Six, yep. Um, I think it was one day where it might have rained, so I had a rain jacket with me. Okay. That would depend. And then a, a bag cover for my bag in case it rains. That's, Summer, though, man. I mean, it's just, it's just in there already. That always lives in there. I don't take it out. Yeah. Neck fan. Neck fan? Yeah. Um... So you're the room card. So clear, I have a little case for it now. Ooh. Which is feedback I got from myself from Naples. Mm. The feedback I gave to myself from Naples because I didn't have it for there. Mm. Um, or if you've got an actual physical key, then have something to attach the key to. Um, hand sanny? Hand sanny. Had two Ten. Hands. Good, yeah. Always have that with me. Yeah. Tissues, pack of tissues. Pack of tissues, essential. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, essential. Um... That's everything, I think. Yeah, knife and fork I carry sometimes. Fucking hell, man's equipped for anything, even the mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my point, my point being, it's like don't don't rely on my preparedness for your unpreparedness. Mm. I don't like that. I just don't like people don't prepare. Why? Why wouldn't you prepare? Mm. Why wouldn't you prepare? Yeah, There's certain mm. things you must must have. And when you're on a family holiday and you're, is he young? No, no, I'm not. Again, I'm not having to go. No, 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 no. But in general, is he? He's like 28, 29, man. Oh, he's not young. <laughs> <laughs> him, and, him and Mary are the same age. He's like ripe for marriage age. Yeah, yeah. You're not that young anymore. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, man. Okay, fine. So that was a problem. <laughs> it's not a problem. It's just a minor discretion. Minor. <laughs> you know what I wrote down my notes here? Let me read it. What did you write? The note was, people drinking your water in a big group. Prepare yourself. Don't depend on my compassion. <laughs> compassion? You were angry when you wrote that. You were angry when you wrote that. I just wrote, I put lol after it as well, but don't depend on my compassion. That's so funny. You put lol to make it like soften it like yeah, yeah, yeah soften yeah, it yeah. it's like you put like a laughing emoji after you say something yeah, yeah, like, oh, it's funny it's, it's not, not, it's not, it's funny. not. It's not funny. you're a low-key pissed <laughs> because then i have to then source more water yeah right with the other person's like i've had my bunny fix now mm. do you know what i mean mm. um food snacks you got snacks no, no i'm saying but snacks yeah i always have snacks with me yeah i had a couple of protein bars yeah things like that and it's just preparing it or like eat breakfast properly yes the hell is the hell is that outside man <laughs> some, some, something's happening people outside. are fucking around outside it's like into the world outside. if you can hear that people I hope not maybe our editor's editor zombie noise out. it's like somebody's being uh, into someone's turning into a zombie straight someone's up. been bitten like, yeah in um, I'm Legend ah, and, then, ah, and they're becoming ah, ah, and then, then they're quiet and they're going, yeah that one um, yeah we were half bored for the whole day so two meals free one being breakfast so lunch or dinner it never makes sense of lunch because you have breakfast quite heavy and quite late but it's like have breakfast properly so you don't need a hard lunch yeah you can just like kind of snack and things um yeah that was my first grievance mm. my second one it's been a while but i haven't spoken about shindy in a while he'd been waiting for the 70 she um she has this theory and obviously no one else can corroborate this because i don't do this to anyone else but when i give her a puppy on the cheek here mm. or on the forehead puppy guys means like kiss kissing her kissing her yeah um yeah one of those She's like, why is it always so wet? Oh, she's Sandra's the same thing to me. What? I always give like wet kisses. I'm like, but are you intentionally giving her a wet kiss? No. No, exactly, isn't it? Like, I'm like... You think I'm sitting there going... Exactly. <laughs> it's like we don't pucker up to do it. But right. is, pucker up. Like, I'm like, no. Do you know what I mean? You can do like... So, all right, say this is Shindy, right? And I'm, I'm going to do it now. You can either just go in and go... Oh, shit, hit my nose. <laughs> That's funny. I have to do it sometimes. I have to get like around my nose. So, but, so if I went like... Like you're just placing it. Yeah. That's not... That's dead. Right, do you know what I mean? I was like, I can do that if you want. But it's not, I don't know, she, she thinks that like a... You're, you're like salivating. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> like on her face. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I don't understand what you mean. And then I always take like the extreme. I'm like, if you don't want any of my kisses. I won't give any at all. They're not, oh yeah, that's, don't have them then. Yeah, yeah but it's just, uh, I'm happy that you've had that experience as well. But she just... <laughs> Because I'm like, yeah, yeah, guys, what, what's, what's your experience? I mean, is it a guy thing? Is it guys? Do you like wet? I don't think that we realize that. The but then, but then, but then the girls like dry their lips before they give you a, a, a quick peck on the cheek. So it's not wet. Maybe. Because I've never sat there and thought that was a wet one from Sanj. Never. Well, what she does in bitterness to make me understand is, yeah, yeah, she got, she got like my mother time. Like, come here, come here. Like, grab my head from here. And then just do one. And then it's like she's, it's as if it feels like she gets a tongue and it's like. <laughs> and then she's like, she's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's like, oh, you, you want to wipe it now, don't you? You want to wipe it? Yeah, go on, wipe it then. That's how I feel. Um, yeah, so those, those are my grievances indeed. 
There's my confession. So yeah, be be prepared. Yeah. Please be prepared. Be prepared. Stop, Dry your lips out. Sit in a sauna. <laughs> don't depend on my compassion. Yes. Okay. And yeah, be thankful and grateful when I give you a puppy. I mean, it's not it's not a lot to ask for. Like, have a, a water source. Yes. Right. Carry thing. Carry a bag so you can carry your things. Mm. Not can I put stuff in your bag? Mm. I hate when people say that to me. Can, can I put stuff, stuff in your bag? In your bag. I What's love that? it. Where's your bag? Love it. That's my job. Where's your bag? No, but sometimes Sanch has a little man, man bag, cross bag. I'm like, put put the keys in your bag. One thing. That's fine. Put the keys that, in that, your that's bag. reasonable. It's when people say, oh, I've got this, this, and this, and this. What's the this, this, and this though? Is it like is it like phone wallet keys? No, no. I'm just like on holiday when people have like other random shit. Stuff that clearly isn't essential, but they think it's essential. Mm. And then they carry it. And then fine, that's one thing you're carrying. It. Then they don't offer to carry a bag for you. And then the other thing is, then they want access to your bag on frequent like points. He's like, no, 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 you get it at the end of the trip now, at the end of the day. Not the trip, end of the day. Wow. When I stop for a break, you can have access to my yes, bag. Yes, When I go to the toilet and throw you my bag, you can look at it then. That's it. And you can carry it then after that. Wow. Garen, you're militant, man. I like preparedness. I like, I like preparedness. Why would you not carry a pony? Is Shindy as organized as you or does she no. rely on your organization? Shindy is organized to the point where she knows what she wants to carry, but I will carry it generally. Mm. Unless she has a backpack, she'll carry it. So like her kind of essentials will always be chewing gum or mint. Sanj has that, yeah. Lip mint, balm. Mint. Lip balm. Yeah. Um, doesn't believe in hand sanitizer because she always wants to wash her hands. So that's fine. She doesn't, what? What? She likes to wash her hands rather than... Oh, okay. I thought you said you, she doesn't like, wash her hands. Doesn't, I said, what? what, what she what, doesn't what? wash her hands. She doesn't... She stayed here. Do I need to sanitize my yard? Oh, my God. <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, she's pretty low key. She doesn't have like a lot of things she wants me to carry. And then all like whatever makeup there might be, so pencil or whatever the girls use and stuff. Yeah. So there might be that one or two things, but she's all right. But she'll be like, she'll lay it out and be like, these are my things. These are going to go into your bag. We'll, come, we'll give it to me in good time. Yes. Not a last minute thing. Uh, and she always has her own water source. She has her own water source. Yeah. Hers is like the contingency bottle. So we'll both drink from mine and then it's like, oh. okay, we're low. But we're always looking for points to refill. Mm. Um, so yeah. Okay. I respect the honesty. Someone really is dying outside, man. It's all right, man. It happens, doesn't it? Uh, guys, it's Chernobyl outside, so this could be the result of nuclear fallout. Could well be. Could well be. I'm surprised Indy's not been affected. Thank you. I'm still sane sometimes. Okay. Here you go. What are your confessions? Let me jump into mine. So I went to a Godwara yesterday for a Sukhmani Saab. Okay. And I was there for the Sukhmani Saab. And I was the first one there because my father-in-law loves to be on time. Oh, let's talk about time. Let's talk about this. Sorry, time. no, that's wrong. I was the second one there. What was the listed time for Sukhumni Saab? 10 a.m. 10 a.m. All right, cool. So 10 till 12. 12, 10 till 12, 12, 12 half 12, program. yeah. All right, Tiga, what time did you arrive? 10 past 10. Wow. Sukhumni Saab started or still not started? Started, just started. Just, just started. started. And who's the first person that said? Um, one of a family member, I think is the best way to describe him. I'm not, yeah. it's, it's long for me to try and explain Tiga, it. So it's, it's a family member. I was like, okay, cool. And had your father not been there with you, what time did you arrive? Probably a little bit later. Defined later? About 20, 30 minutes later. Okay. Because I started keeping a track of when, when like the majority of the Sangat had arrived. And the majority had arrived by 11 o'clock. See, but it's okay. So I have a slight grievance with this then, which is, see, turning up to a party, and we talked about this before, what's the acceptable time, mm. listed time, half six. Yeah, yeah half parties half are different. Half. Different. For part, it's slightly different though. And it depends on. So, so when you the part, generally the part itself, if read by a faster Gianni. He was quick yesterday. We'll take about I... an hour, hour 15. How long did so the part take? Hour and a half. And then oh, it was okay. Gitan. And then it was Adas. The thing is, if you're coming for so the part, mm. and then, like, if I'm attending, I want to I wanna be there for the opening, the start and the end. I don't like it when, if you're invited to Sukhumi part, you don't listen to Sukhumi the part. That's the whole point of coming. It's not a kind of part. It's not a three day, you know, like it's very rare that somebody's going to come for three days, right? Um, but anyway, yeah, you're right though. People do, they basically try and come up to the last bit of the part going into Keaton. I mean, I don't think it's intentional. I think it's just people arrived on time for various reasons. Uh, some came from far, some came from near, some have kids. Like, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, no, Tika, people have reason. But in the same way that if it was a wedding, mm -hmm. it was something important to you, you'd be on time. It's that yeah, true, given that true. same level of respect. My issue isn't with that though. That's just a side point. I was there early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the the problem I have was there are kids playing there. They're like three, four, five, and six. Downstairs or in the bar hall? The bar hall. Upstairs. Three, four, five, and six. What did you do specifically? They're cute kids, right? And they're playing around. They've got like double and they're just pointing at stuff. They're not shouting. They're just playing a little bit with, running around, running with around? the cards. No, they actually no, aren't. They're sitting no, no. and they're just like moving around. 
Okay, no noises. No noises or anything. They're like playing. They're talking a little bit, but that's fine. I'm like, look, look they're kids. You can't expect a kid to sit there silent for an hour and a half at that age. So that's fine. That's cool. Now, <laughs> two of them had, three of them, they're six or seven. They had top trumps and they were playing that behind, sitting behind their dad, playing it one or the other. Uh, old uncle comes walking up to them. Right, right. This old uncle? Yes. Yeah. A member of your family? No, or I, just, I don't know him. Like I, don't, I think he was just a Godwara Sevadar. Okay. This is Walks up, stands over them. And you know how sometimes the, the Granthi will go through the lines of the Sukhmani Sahib. He'll take a breath. Yeah. yeah. And then he'll have like a three second breath. Then he'll carry on to the next. Is it the next body? Yeah. yeah. yeah next body. Fine. Yeah. Carries on. Then a breath. Then that. This guy timed it so that when the Gandhi was taking his breath. Yeah. He stands over the kids and goes. No playing cards in the Darbar Sahib. And the kids are looking up like, what? And the dad? was the dad? The dad's sitting in front and he's like, oh, this is awkward. And he, he boomed it at the top of his voice. And I'm thinking, the kids, man, what are they going to do? Like, hang on. Do you think they're gambling? Because they're not, okay? All in. They're kids. All in. They're not all sitting in, there with in. chips. They're not sitting there with like a bungee or dusty saying, yeah, yes, you all bet all this, I bet this, yeah. All they're, all not, they're not playing craps on a corner or something yeah. in, in New York. <laughs> I'm thinking, come on, man. They're playing top trumps. It's not going to hurt anyone. They're occupied. They're pretty quiet. Mm. They're not running around doing madness. Just leave them alone. But no, he did that. Then one of them packed up the cars, ran over to their mum. And the mum said, go downstairs in the Lungerhorn. You can play it there. So he went downstairs and did that, yeah. but they were like really upset. Shook. They were like shocked. Mm -hmm. And I thought that, that, that guy took it too far. He didn't, he didn't need to say that to them. He could have just been nice about it. How would you have said it? Huh? How would you, would you just leave them be their kids? It's very unlikely you're going to see them doing that when they're 16 years old. No, it's true. But again, there's two different takes to this. There's now the way you handle it. That, that's, I'm not talking about the way you handle it, but the, the principle there is, yeah, if you're going to play, then you don't need to play in the bar hall though. The bar hall is not for playing. Yeah, but they're around their parents and the parents probably want to keep them in, you know, line of sight. Yeah, so maybe. When, when you were young though, standard procedure, would you play in the Godora? Uh, Downstairs, in the park, in the park. I can't park. remember. As in you probably, allowed, probably like, the car park. Car yeah, park no, with the football. We want, yeah, exactly. Tennis ball. Like, no yeah. one was supervised. Yeah. But you know, fine, that's a different thing. Um, but yeah, or, or you're just like, yeah, no, no, yeah, fine, whatever. Some people have different views I just thought, that. listen, it's, it's yeah. a kid. Just, just be nice, you know? But he just, yeah, he boomed that at them and I thought, listen, mm. bit much, chill. Just, just near on air, man. Mm. If, if you do that to them as well, they're going to be less comfortable coming back in the future because you just shouted at them and it wasn't by their parents. So if you said to the parents, can you not, not let them do that? The parents can put it in a different way and say, go and do it downstairs. Mm. And then now you've not, impacted the kid i guess or given yeah, him a bad yeah. memory which is to do with yeah how you're saying it yeah there are certain things which i think kids you can be sometimes you know you can be benji benji but as you know as say this is something completely unrelated as kids sometimes our parents can say something very nicely to us or yeah they do they they can be very stern yeah. and that sternness is needed sometimes to really understand like yeah, the message. Yeah. but the bigger the bigger thing here i would say is as you said, and Shindy had this sort of minor issue when she was on the plane actually flying back. This kid yeah. behind her kept kicking her seat. Oh, and her dad was next to her. that's annoying. Right? That's the word. No, 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 no. So Shindy spoke to the mom. But it's like, okay, look, she could have spoken to the kid, but spoke to the parent, asked the parent to intervene. Yeah, you have to ask the parent to intervene and then the parent does the next thing. Yeah, but the parent doesn't do it. She was like, the mom didn't do it. Now we're just speaking to the dad. Did I have and to tell you about this? What? <laughs> I've got a story about this, but then I'll go and land. Yeah, go yeah, first, yeah. go on. No, no, that was, that was it. So sometimes it's like you do need to be stoned. She with kids. took the right way of approaching the parent. Yeah. But kids need to know boundaries. Yes. Uh, sometimes. And I guess with, the, yeah, I mean, the Godora is one of the things where it's like everything we, we talk about now, kind of big picture, is how, well, how do we get kids more interested in Godora? Yes, which is hard right. work. Which Very is hard, hard work. work. Which is hard work, right? And getting people interested in Sikhi from a young age. Because you know that if they're interested at a younger age, they're much more likely. Even if they fall out a little bit, there'll be a, a rooting and grounding as they get older. But then, you know, who's the best place to do that? It's not going to be that random uncle. It's not going to be a kid listening to Qatar. It's going to be the parents at home saying, yeah. this is a good daughter. These are some stories. And I, I feel if there are any parents watching this and you're like, well, how do I get my kids into Sikhi? All kids, all adults, all people love stories. The way to get somebody interested in something is telling a story, not a set of rules. There's some wicked comics as well for... Um 
there are on sicky i've got some home. i've got some this year from february yeah yeah which, which i read and again i'm as an adult i'm reading it but i'm like it's really engaging it's stuff i want to learn about but i'm learning it in an engaging way yeah whether it's you guys it could be youtube it could be whatever but storytelling that's the way to get them engaged that mm-hmm. will pique their curiosity and interest that they want to ask more questions yeah and yeah. then once you've got that kind of basis and grounding then it's like well this is what we've got to go to this is what Darbar Sahib is this is what Guru Granth Sahib is this is what you're supposed to do mm. da, 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 da. and then you holly holly build on it rather than this is what you must do rrr, 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 like you know Baba I understand where Baba's coming from it just sounds like Baba didn't have is it Baba? it was an old Baba yeah it sounds like Baba just like doesn't have like Jitti everything and he couldn't sit on the floor he had to sit on the side because he's obviously he must have bad knees about back I was like he's a, he's an old head yeah it's just his communication style isn't <laughs> match <laughs> isn't, isn't polished at isn't all po- isn't polished yeah but uh, Acha. So then, did everyone do you like turn your head? I turned my head and I was like, oh, "You like podcast?" I was like, "Oh god!" I didn't think that. I just thought that's really mean, <laughs> right? And I thought you can let kids be kids in uh, Darbar Sahib. It's okay if they're still doing that at seven, eight, nine. Okay, maybe you might need to address it in a different way. Mm. But you yeah. cannot get a kid to sit still in the majority of situations at home if they make noise. It's a different thing, I'd say. That's your parents need to be proactive. Like they're screaming, noise, and shouting. noise in what way? Screaming, and shouting, screaming and shouting. I'll take them outside. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. then that's fine. Give them some attention. Yeah, and that's fine. But as long as parents are proactive in doing that, yeah, and not expecting just everyone to just carry on. No, I think a parent's worst nightmare is when they're having a bar for their kid and they have to step forward with their kid, and the <laughs> kid so doesn't funny. start screaming, shouting, yeah. wriggling, running around, yeah, trying to trying to like. like yeah. Like for slow people or something. When the slow bus coming. Yes. Like, That's their biggest nee, nee, worry. Nee, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my uh, mate Sonny, we went to his kid's second or third birthday and he's got a daughter who's one and he took them both forward and this they're both is, trying to do, bike. yeah, it's a sucking stuff for both of them. So they're both stepping forward with both kids and I messaged him afterwards. I said, hey, Vian, and they said we were both scared that they were both going to kick off at that moment where you're stepping forward to collect everything and do the matadek and sit back down. But it was okay. But I know that that's a big fear the parents have when they're going through that. Yeah, yeah. And I guess, imagine having to take them out. In that, the in that moment, yeah. Because it's, and it's their focus. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's kids. It happens, isn't it? Mm. Is what it is. It'd be interesting to ask our moms, actually, what we were like as kids in that scenario. Good question. Guys, I, was, I, was, I was the youngest, so I had my brother and sister to kind of keep me in check, I guess. Yeah. But for you, that's, that's a different story, actually. I think I feel like you would have been very obedient. Not sure. Yeah. Organized and optimized. No, I just think you were a good put. I don't think you had like a bad bone in you. You were just a good put. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Well, ask mom. I, I, don't, I don't know the answer to that. Ask her, please. I want to know. I want to know. Guys, if you've got any stories, uh, either by the yourselves when you guys are kids, or if you are parents watching, and then we do have a lot of parents that watch this podcast. Yes. What are your kids like? What strategies do you use? Yeah, this would be a good reel, actually. So, you know, what if you've got a noisy but uh, what is your methodology, strategy, tactics to... To calm them, basically. To address that, yeah, in the bar sub um, or other kind of public settings. Or in that moment. In that moment, yeah. That'd yeah. be good to know. Bus. Happy? All right, next bit. Why are you laughing, man? Because I know what you're going to say. Introduce the segment. It's really funny. I haven't seen you do it in person yet. It's the first time. Hanji Paji. <laughs> That's why he's laughing. I have a question for you. For you. My for you. Question for you. Um, you don't. You have a question for me, actually. I do have a question for you. Thank so, you. Just a bit of feedback, actually, from, from one of my cousins at a recent party. I haven't seen her in a while. And she came up to me. She's like, you're real on Indy telling the time. She just couldn't stop laughing. She's just laughing while telling me Sardi this point. Sardi thai. Sardi thai. My thai. Sardi 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 thai. Like, dead, like, dad. 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 So, just recap on that before we go into yes, today's please. Thank time you. Today. That'd be really nice. Right, really nice. All right, indeed. So. What's half one? Yeah, what's half one? Oh, wait, it's, no. Let's mess, mix it up. What's half five? Huh? Half five. Sardi thai. Saturday fun yeah, Saturday fun good Saturday fun you guys I gave him a new time there so number mm. the thing is he knows punch but he's like shit we haven't gone through this one. <laughs> Saturday fun Saturday fun Saturday fun what is half past two uh die would you yes what is this half past one dead would you does any of this make sense yes good lad <laughs> <laughs> right so let's take it to the next level now right how do you say quarter two this is where I have no idea. Yeah? Oh, I just cool. say 145. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah, okay, we'll use that as the time. That's why I say. We'll say we'll say that. We'll use this as the example. Then, yeah, for, so two o'clock, quarter to two is the time we're going to use. Quarter to two. Take a... ਕਿੰਨੇ <laughs> 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 <laughs
ਸੱਤ ਵਜਨ ਨੂੰ ਸੱਤ ਵਜਨ ਨੂੰ 10 ਮਿੰਟ ਸੱਤ ਵਜਨ ਨੂੰ 10 ਮਿੰਟ ਸੱਚ ਯਾ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਓਕੇ 10 ਮਿੰਟ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਇਸ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਬਾਜ ਗਏ ਉਹ the other one so yeah but when you didn't the other one but you're doing saying how much time is left the end is never vajge or vajya it would be like it's just like, like a ticking time rende rende yeah cuz left yeah yeah so sat vajnu 10 minute rahe say that again sat sat vajnu sat vajnu to become 7 10 minute rahe 10 yeah. minutes are left yeah yeah got it so now you know the two ways mm. so you can tell any time now so you got half one half two which have their own rules for no yeah yeah clear reason yeah then you have the quarter two and quarter past um half past you know now and you as well just saturday yeah always saturday yeah not saturday <laughs> saturday you don't know everyone you don't, you, don't, everyone's, you don't know it yeah Every, everyone's, everyone's time, time okay that's how you that's remember. how i know it now i'm like it's everyone's time it's yeah. not stop being selfish share it okay share the time it's everyone's time mm. um i think you're now the master of time so let's put it um let's maybe not test this hypothesis oh this is too hard this is too easy what's the time what half six yeah saturday chevaju Yeah. Or it or if it's already happened, not vajje, it'd be vajge. Vajge? Yeah, look I, all I'm going to say is look. Is it baba or vava? Vava. Vava. Vajge. 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 Okay. Yeah. I thought it's vajge. Okay. What I'm going to say is we've only done this twice. Mm. Time stuff. I haven't touched it since. I'm not going to lie. I no. watched that real one loop though cuz it makes me laugh, but right. by inadvertently making me laugh, I've learned it properly. Guys, yeah. and this is like look, and I want to clear the air here. When we make these reels, I'm not mocking him, okay? <laughs> the number of comments you got about mocking him is no, no, no. Look, there is a funny element to it. Mm. But this is never a malice and actually it's very nice the comments you get about how people are actually learning Punjabi from our content. Nothing that we prepared and but actually No, I, it's, I think it's, it's all wing. This is the only one that we've actually prepared for, but there's but another nice, time to swing it. But I think it's nice and um, you know, we are championing Punjabi voices and I see, you know, all day we're going to speak more Punjabi. Mm. Uh, we hope you pick up a few things that you can go and use and we always learn like people comment stuff about how differently to say things or you know if this is ring right or wrong and you asked me yesterday about a funny one didn't you which one oh okay before i get cancelled okay yeah go on go on let me explain <laughs> yeah. this okay <laughs> right so i was at the godwara <laughs> yesterday at for the sukhmani sab the stuff we just spoke about in the previous segment mm. and there were there's all the uncles that sit downstairs and they're having a chat and normally you would think all the uncles need to sit down and have a chat but they normally need a beer or an alcohol alcoholic beverage to get them through it but you're in a good party so everyone's yeah. having chai instead but i was like cool it's that's still medium, yeah. it's still like a, a a beverage that's being consumed yeah and then i thought when they go around and ask you though outside of the godwara before i get cancelled right when they ask you at like a house like baji is it beer pini or beer pina and i was like wait masculine feminine masculine feminine i was like I really want to say it's beanie but that's lady and I don't think that's correct. Mm. So I was like Garen which one is it? And then you asked me why are you asking this? Yeah, I like, and I said I was like Indy it's not appropriate to walk around the godwara. <laughs> I, I, I know you want to say one stuff a lot of uh, baba ji to see beer the beanie. No you can't. No, 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 I was like you can't do this Indy. Like ne galta galta. Nahi nahi ethe nahi. Ethe nahi. Ethe nahi hota though. Um yeah so beer beanie. But there are and I thought right after there are other ones that people say like here's a funny one in Punjabi. Well like, Indy Beer laniya. Beer what? Laniya. Laniya. What? You you want to put the beer on me? Yeah. That's just the translation in English, but it means... Pour the beer, beer on, on me, baby. Me. <laughs> yeah, like, beer laniya. Like, do you want... Like, it just means you, do you want to have one, but the literal translation is, yeah, do you want, do you want a beer on me? Mm. Um, but you can say beer pina. You can you can say that. This is weird, man. But pina is... If you can use pina, you have to use the pina. Yeah. But if you if you want to say beer pina, you can say beer pina. You could say that. Beer pina. Beer pina. That, that's... That's Wait, no, can you understand yeah. why why it's taking yeah, me so long to get my head around the masculine and feminine yeah. now? I think the people that do it, like for example, when I do, it, I, I because I don't think it's instinctive too much about it. Yeah, yeah. So whatever comes out, I just roll with it. I'm like, that's fine. Whereas you think about, is it right what I'm saying? Now I am. Yeah, yeah. Bella, I was living in my own little bubble, and then we made about ten reels. <laughs> 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 um, all right, here's another funny one. My cousin taught me. So on the trip, uh, there's a point where we had candy floss. And I was like, "All right, what's candy floss in Punjabi?" Because it must have a word. Mitha, <laughs> or Hindi, right? So um, here's the Hindi, and here's the Golabi Mitha, <laughs> pink, pink, sweet. Yeah. It's not, it's not bad Hindi. It's not bad Hindi, right? So it's either known as. So in Hindi, it would be. Buri ke baal. Buri ke baal, as in a woman's hair. Yeah, but buri, old person, old woman's hair. Because it, it does looks, look like an old woman's hair, in fairness. Yeah, yeah. In Punjabi, buddi, not buri, buddi. 
Na chatta. Chatta means like unkept hair when it's just like which Frizzy is what, hair. which is what Candy Frost looks like. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, nah, and I was like, chatta. You, just... you may as well call them like troll dolls or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, violent. you clearly make them. She goes, no, that's that's what we call Candy Frost. I'm like, wow, because obviously this concept doesn't exist. Like Punjabi wouldn't can't have a word for it because it's not a Punjabi thing. No. So <coughs> so then when Punjabi has to make a word for it, yes. it has to be a descriptive term. Yes, it does, yes. And I was like, that's just fascinating, isn't it? Yeah. So guys, there you go. Candy the floss. C- Candy the floss? Candy the floss. <laughs> Candy the floss. <laughs> Candy if you the ever, floss. If you want to test, you know, elders in your family, be like... Um, What's Candy floss in Punjabi? Yeah, yeah. They'll be like, I don't know what that is. There you go. But show them a picture then mm. and then ask them and uh, see what comes The ones out. you see in all the Bollywood films and they're at Funfair, that one. Yeah. And uh, remember last week we talked about my mom's uh, English teacher or PE teacher. Shut up, Matthew, please. Yes. Right. So we had a follow up to that. So mom said the other one day he would say was, "Open the weather, open the window, and let the weather in." <laughs> open the weather window, let the weather to in. let the weather in. Just say open the window. Open the window, let the weather in. <laughs> <laughs> such bravery, such such a uh, power. Yeah, he yeah. says uh, assertiveness. His name apparently is Mr. Dubey. Dube. Right, he's the PE teacher. What was sick name? Dube. He's the Mr. Yeah, Mr. Dube, the PE teacher. And they said when the English teacher used to hear him trying to speak English, he'd be like, No, just please. Just, 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 he's like, Please shut up your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> <shut up>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please shut your mouth, please. Um, all right, here's, an, here's another thing that Indians do, which I learned, which was. All right, so say you wear like a, like Kenny, Kenny has a quite extensive holiday wardrobe. So he'd be coming down every day with different couple of I knew it. I, I knew Kenny, Kenny was that guy. Kenny is that guy. I knew he was that guy. Kenny is that guy. Kenny, that Kenny, guy. That guy. Kenny goes on holiday. He, he wants sh- to wear every outfit. He had nine pairs of shoes, 16 pairs of shorts. And, you know, me being Mr. He Frinkles. wants to wear every outfit. He does. He does. And he showed, he showed me now. He wants one outfit. And I was like, bro, what are you wearing? Like, he's like matching shirt and trousers. Then he showed me AP Tilu video. You know that, that song where he's like doing like a vlog? He's on holiday or something. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, with the toothbrush and stuff. Yeah, and he's yeah, getting yeah. It looks yeah. like a holiday. Yeah. Kenny's outfits in that video. And he's like, AP Dillow, right? And I was like, oh, wow. It's not Kenny's outfit, it's AP's you know, outfit. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Though? Kenny's like, I want that outfit. How did he track it down? What? How did he track down that outfit? I don't know. He didn't do it because of AP. He just, after he got it, he was like, AP's wearing it as well. But um, oh, what was my point? Right, so so then Jath would do this thing. She'd be like, so Kenny having, this is a new top, for example. Mm. He'd be like, she'd be like. And as they pinch the person, they say, new pinch. So you don't do hard pinch, little pinch, yeah. New pinch. Because you're wearing a new piece of clothing. Yeah. And so it's, it's you're telling this, me it's to do another every time. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, how have I never heard of this? And then uh, Masi was there. She's like, yeah, it's an India thing. So new pinch, and they also have you know if say we say the same word, we say jinx. Their version of jinx is same pinch. Same pinch. Yeah. I love I love how you look at me now, because this is the exact reaction I, and they I was have like, to I was pinch like you. I was like, this is so made up. And they have to pinch you. Yeah. So same pinch and new pinch. And I said, are there any other pinches? They said, no, just these two pinches. It's like dead and a tie. Makes no sense, right? Same pinch. And new pinch. New pinch. So new couple, take the nuzzle off, new pinch. So hang on, on your wedding day, are you telling me people came up to you and said new pinch all the time? No. no Therefore, no, this no, is no, 100% made up. Thank you. No, it's not made up. They were doing it. It's made up. And they were like, they do it in Punjab. It's not made up. Why would they make it? That's a weird thing to make up, man. Guys out to, there, have to, you heard of this in your family? Told us Brits, man. This is like you in your telescoping story again. <laughs> okay, this is what it is. This is what it is. It's like that. Guys, ask in your families, but new pinch, same pinch is a thing. It's definitely a thing because I, co- I corroborated I with Masi. This is a thing. And I was like, whoa, this is like advanced level. Uh, advanced level Punjabi. Advanced level Punjabi. I was just like, I can't new comprehend pinch. this. Yeah. Same pinch. Do you have to say same pinch as they say the same thing? So when they say the same thing, like, they're about to say, my name is, and they're like, Kenny. And then they say, okay, fine, same pinch. And they have to do the. Yeah. That's what they have to do. They have to do both. They can't just say jinx. No, they just don't, jinx isn't a word that they use. No, but, but you know how we say jinx? That's it. We don't do jinx or anything like that. Oh, right? I say, I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do that. You don't, can't just say it. You, you have to say it and squeeze. And you got a pinch. You got a pinch. But it's a light pinch. But they were saying in India, some people take it too extreme and they do really heavy pinches. Yeah. yeah. Which you shouldn't do. It's just a very light, but it's a real thing. Wow. New pinch, same pinch. I'll try that on my dad and see how that goes. He'll look at me like, <laughs> he'll, be like, he'll, be like he'll be like to your mum, nuts like here. They care, I sent him to London. Oh, they care. Look at what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although, what I want you to do, mate, when you, when you see CSK, just sit there with him. And every so often, just look at the clock. And be like, Dad. And then walking later, Dad. 
ਤਿੰਨ ਵਜੇ ਨੂੰ 10 ਮਿੰਟ ਰਹਿ ਗਏ ਇਹਦੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਲਾਈ ਵਾਈ ਸਨ ਵੀ ਇਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਬਿਕਸ ਆ ਕੈਨ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਨੀਸ ਕੇਲ ਬੇਬੀ ਬਿਕਸ ਆ ਕੈਨ ਨੀਸ ਕੇਲ ਬੇਬੀ ਦਸ 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 ਮੈਨ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਇਟ ਵਾਈ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਸਟਾਪ ਮੈਨ ਅਮ ਸੋ ਮਾਈ ਵਰ ਲੈਸ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਫੋਕਸ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਅ ਓਕੇ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਫਰਸਟ ਔਰ ਨਾਨ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਲੈਟਸ ਗੋ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਓਕੇ ਵਾਈ ਡੂ ਵੀ ਰਬ ਆਨ ਐਲਸ ਟੂਗੇਦਰ ਲਾਈਕ ਥਿਸ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੈਜ਼ ਅ ਮੈਡੀਸਨਲ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟ ਟੂ ਇਟ Did not know that. I'm just thinking do you do this? No, but I saw people in Birmingham town do it the other week and no, they were all Indian and they were just walking just doing this. Is this I, for, for people who don't understand is this? Noise. It's just rubbing your nails together. I do it sometimes, but I just Why? find it like no, it's more like a like a, like a like a tapping your leg. I don't I don't I've never known to do it for a reason. I just do it because I'm thinking about something. It's like a hum for me. It's like hmm. yeah, like I can do it different frequencies. I can go yeah. really slow. I can get really fast. Yeah. But that's just me playing with my hands. Like, I don't do it often, but when you showed me I was like, yeah, I've done that before. I don't know the I've reason? been told that there's a bit of I, I don't know. I've just been told oh, it's good for you. This is one of those random things that people do that fish isn't true. The, fish and the dog again. It's just random. I don't get it. What benefit could this is it pressure points maybe? Pressure points in your fi- I know there are pressure points in your fingernails that my dad knows extensively about. Does he? So he thinks He knows. This kid knows. No, he, he thinks. He, he had this years years ago. He had this little pen and it had like electric shock at the end. No way. So he so he used to get really bad arthritis in his wrist. Okay. And he'd sit there and shock his wrist and it would get rid of the arthritis. Okay. Well, and I thought well, Okay, all I'm going to say. Yeah. Which wrist is it left or right? I think it's his left wrist. Right. Has his left wrist now got more mobility? No. Do you think it's better? No. I think it's the same. But is he complaining less pain? Um I haven't asked him in fairness. He's got other pain points that are more pressing, I'd say. Okay. Because uh, if you look, if it's worked for him, whether it be placebo or not placebo, placebo or whatever. Oh, anyway, it's if fine. it's worked for yeah. him, man. I love that how he's just experimenting on himself. <laughs> shocking himself. Hey, man. That's pretty. Clearly there's some benefit. Get a pen with electric shock at the end of it. Yeah, um, you you can get pens that do that. You know the little like tss, tss, yeah. Wow. Okay. You didn't know this. I didn't know that. It isn't a taser. It's not strong That's enough. Just... It's not strong enough to taser. In the wind. A tear. It's not strong enough to change. Too high, turn it down. In the wind, a tear. There used to be games that you could get way back when yeah. all four of you would have to press something or put your hand on something and the last person to take their hand off the when shock. the light goes off gets a shock. Yeah. Those are the I think that. it's the same kind of frequency as that. Yeah, like uh, the doctor operation. Mister, what's the thing? Op- operation. Yes. Yeah, they used to have the same thing. Or when you give someone a pen and the pen has a shock at the end and press it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like a joke. Interesting. Mm. Okay, yeah, I didn't know about the nail thing though, but yeah, guys, look, if you've heard this nail phenomenon, then the same people you're asking about the Buddha Chatta and the um, new pinch, same pinch, ask, ask them about the whole... Uh, Genuinely tell us people, comment below and tell us, please. So, it's yeah. all there for you, right there. Just you. message us, DM us, comment below. Anything is very well received, promise. Mm. Okay. Yeah? Like mm. okay. okay, right. And my last one is... Dun, dun, dun. Do you remember the luxury of, of skyboxes? Do you remember when they were like a massive novelty in their first first days? So when the sky man would come around and he put the sky in and you had all the channels for the first month and you were like, "Oh my god, Sky One, Sky Sports, flipping all sky the movies, music channels, movies. Nickelodeon, yeah, yeah. everything." You're like, yeah, yeah. "Wow." And you knew by heart the date it was going to switch off. And you oh, knew you mean when you went to basic at 12:01 it's going to go to basic package on the 25th of October. And then you get that, that you know the message. The message on screen saying call please number. call us. Yeah. Yeah. It's really sad. I, I remember our first skybox because it wasn't actually a skybox it was Grundig or something it was something dodgy. Like, no, it wasn't dodgy. It was like Sky had um it's like third party that leased it out basically for you could have the official skybox came later. Mm. Um but yeah, I I absolutely remember because first we had we had like nothing. Well, like basic channels. I think the only cartoon channel we had for a long time was Boomerang. Cartoon, cartoon Network. No, just Cartoon Network. And okay. Other non Skybox. And then as soon as we got Sky, I remember because I got home from school, and Dad had got someone to install it. And the first thing I put on was like, "Oh my God, I can watch Pokemon." Oh. And I was watching. That's like, heartwarming, man. I was watching yeah, Ash yeah. walking around. And I was like, "Wow." It's just you. You, you can't, were just so happy. You can't. You can't. Yeah. You can't. You were thinking, "Oh my God, I'm not getting any homework done tonight. I'm just going to sit and watch cartoons." Yeah, then he got older and then when we moved house and we had to have new sky boxes put in. So yeah, that that thing happened where the guy comes around, he puts a new dish on and then you get like, oh, you have sky multi screen now. Uh, and then yeah, for a while yeah. we had this thing where we'd get sky movies every Christmas for a month. Yes. 
on the narrow point where we just have it all the time. But but now it's like the conversation now is. Is it worth keeping? Yeah, do you still need Sky? You don't. Um, because everything's on demand now. No. How much live content do you watch? It's probably just sports. So me and Sandra were talking about this and we said what when we, we move now? eventually into have a house. Have you got Sky now? No. Okay, okay. No. Wait, so the question we is, have Freeview. We're not going to get Sky because we're like, well, we've got all the streaming, all the streaming ones that, that we want to keep. Mm. Got Netflix, got Prime, got Disney. Mm. Don't need anything else, frankly. Um, and there's obviously I can download shows if I really want to and just put it up on screen. And there's obviously people have got fire sticks, which is mm. always useful. And that's a nice little way around it. Mm. But <laughs> someone put on TV the other day, um, not on TV, on Twitter X. or X now, I guess it's called. Wow. I'm still I'm not so, used I'm to that. I'm so confused. I'm still not used to that. I was looking at my phone and I saw the X icon. I was like, what app is this? And I was like, I think it's X rated. I was, no, I, was like, I was like, who has put this app on my phone? But the thing is, someone hacked my phone when I was asleep. But it's in a folder. Yes, it is. So it's not like it's on the random part of the screen try, where you download try. the app. Yeah, I was yeah. like, who has downloaded the app and put it in this folder? And for a long time, I was like, what is this? Have you seen this? If you still type in on your phone, on Twitter. the drop down, Twitter, Twitter, it still comes up with X. What if you just type X? T-W-I-T-T-A. Comes just type X? X just type in X, well. it comes up as well, yeah. Yeah. Mm. What's the reason behind that? I haven't been following. Rebrand, Elon Musk doing his own thing. Probably making his own super brand or right. whatever, or a super app to, yeah. to do everything. That's what people think he's going to try and do in the long term. Unify everything. Okay. Okay, fine. We'll see what happens. I mean, if it's going to streamline things, I'm open to that idea. I'm more interested in seeing him fight um, Zuckerberg. <laughs> and it's going to be in ancient Rome. That's what they've said. Like, it's, it's got nothing to do with Dana White and the UFC. <laughs> so it's got nothing to do with them. It's going to be streamed on both okay. X and uh, Meta. Meta. Yeah, yeah. Great. They've been training hard, both <laughs> of them. Thinking, there was a thing that I think uh, Zuckerberg uploaded. You see the WhatsApp conversation screenshot with his wife. What did it say? It said something like um, installed a like a cage basically in his garden to train. Fuck. And then she was like, next message was like from her, Mark. That was it. You know how hard I've been working on that garden. <laughs> These men take it way too far. It's like, good. It's train not that properly. deep. No, it's deep. It it's is, not that deep. It's really deep, man. It's not that it's deep. It's like me finding you. I wouldn't take that that seriously. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't. I would. I would train hard. Oh, fuck. I would train really hard. I would want to choke you out. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> All the gusts over the years. <laughs> you can't even keep it in. <laughs> See that? Karma. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, right? Instant karma. What I'm saying. This guy. This guy would turn up. If you've seen the, the, the story, he would turn up. Wait, wait, wait. Turn it into the camera a little bit. No, no, no. There you go. That's better. That's better. Yeah, yeah. This guy go. would turn up. Dr. Jazz, 300 Spartan <laughs> version of Jazz, would turn up. And India would be like, oh my God. Mmm. If you don't know what this is, this is was on our story. It was obviously going to go by the time. Yeah, I wouldn't have seen it on the story because it's gone because this is next week. This is produced by an artist. In It'll Dubai. be on our behind the scenes highlight. BTS. It's yeah. from Dubai. Nice. Yes. So Sky. going back to Sky real mm. quick. Mm. There was a real novelty when you got all the channels. It made you feel really elite. happy, elite. Mm. People would come to your house to watch games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, Hosting. you felt like the king. Hosting, yeah, yeah. felt yeah. like the king. And then I didn't know this. Sanj told me this the other day. Nickelodeon gave you like a window to watch everything in for like half an hour a night or an evening to like tease you in and then it would cut you out. I don't know. And Sky like Box Office. Yeah. And Sky Box Office. Remember when WrestleMania was on it? Yeah. 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 When you would go onto the channel on WrestleMania, you know, it had that massive banner at the bottom free and, it, and you wouldn't be able to get rid of it. It would be like free for it. X until you bought it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found a way to get rid of it. If you type in a number on the screen, it gets rid of everything. It just has a little number in the corner. Oh, but you don't... So you just keep the number... As a number you... like you're typing a your channel? Yeah, but you just press the number and it holds the screen off for like 30 seconds. So oh, I kept so you... having to press a button, press like a number every 30 seconds to get rid of the blocker on screen. Oh, yeah, okay. I was gonna and say then obviously like... after the first match, it would then be like, you've got to pay to watch the whole thing. Okay, so you had like a hem- semi-hack. Yeah, that was like a semi-hack I, I okay. discovered on my own. Okay, well, that's but pretty good. But wrestling tapes would get passed around school with like WrestleMania yeah, yeah, and Raw yeah, as if it was yeah, like yeah, drugs yeah. or something. <laughs> Everyone passed it around like, yo, but this week's Monday Night Raw, this yeah, this year's yeah, SummerSlam, yeah, yeah, I got it here. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, yeah, yeah, I'll give it to you after I've given it to Jamie. Yeah, he's yeah, got it now, yeah, but he's yeah, going to yeah. give it to you. And then there's that one overprotective mum who kicks off in school no, no, saying, no, no. how dare you let my son watch this or some shit like that. We had a sleepover once and I was my duty or my like task for that sleepover. Yeah. Or guys was, um, can you record two episodes of South Park? Oh, which primary school. So it's quite primary school. Current. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, 
And so part of that kind of sleepover thing is we watch loads of Simpsons mm. and then... Um, Just flick on South Park, Park. quickly. And I, I don't know, for whatever reason, I think I told his mom by accident. <laughs> um, I was like, yeah, yeah, I was like, I've got South Park here. And she was like, what? <laughs> and then, um, so she told her son whose birthday it was a sleepover. You're not watching South Park in front of all the, the, the friends. And then obviously he had a go at me. And he was like, why'd you tell her? Yeah, yeah, why'd you tell her? And then everyone got a bit moody. And I was like, oh shit, this is a bit awkward. So then I went in the other room and played like Brian Lara Cricket with one of the guys. So yeah, it wasn't a happy memory. <laughs> um, Trauma. And this yeah. is why you started the podcast, because you want everyone to be your friend. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what it is. Origin story oh, right there. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. So yeah, I, yeah. And as you get older, like that kind of novelty of having all the channels kind of wears off. And you're like, Novelty's when, gone. When do I have the time to watch this stuff now? And if you do the maths on how much it is a year to actually get all the football subscriptions now. You're looking north of 80 quid a month. Yeah, it sums up to a thousand pounds for a football season. There you go. I mean, on subscriptions. And I'm thinking this is why people get fire sticks and stuff. Yeah. Because absolutely. so much cheaper and they're literally just rinsing people for money at this point. Mm. When it's just not, it's not exactly fair. Because... The argument's always been, we don't want to show the three o'clocks on TV because stadiums are going to be empty. And I'm thinking, you're stupid. That's not going to happen. People are still going to go because there's diehard match-going fans that always go. Mm. Your revenues might drop a little bit, but you'll recoup that in TV, yeah. in TV viewership rights, I guess. So they banned it in the UK, but they've tried to, out, they've tried to still fleece people by going to games and mm. watching it at home. Mm. It's just stupid, man. I prefer to go to a pub and watch it, really, if I had to. Good atmosphere. Because I'm like, look, yeah. I need to get an atmosphere. I'll buy one Sprite and I'll sit there Done and watch the, game, the whole yeah. game. Bus. Eat before you go. Sorted. Yeah, well, you mean, if you need more Sprite, you get a glass of pony if you really want to be frugal, but yeah. it's up to you what floats your boat. Keep, boat. Pubs, keep, keep pubs going, man. You've got to give them a little bit better. That's true. That's true. Then, yeah, I think Desi pubs are never a problem, though. No. Food Always going to have just, the mythical people there, Friday, food, Saturday, food Sunday. Point, man. Yeah, I think they've got it outnumbering us now, man. They sure are they? Are they liking it? Loving yeah, it. Man, they're loving it, man. Which one? Red Line. I mean, Redline's got a big, like, big following crowd. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not really up on it. They go there. You've got the ones that are like, kind of more up on it only. Mm. But uh, yeah, I think they'll go strong. Desi Man pubs are massive in Birmingham. They're not that big down massive. here. Yeah, we, yeah. we spoke about this already, but yeah, how people travel it, it down. It is surprising. Yeah. People travel down. Specifically. My brother in law, Hardeep, who is my brother in law. Uh, well, well done, well done. Good <laughs> they, clarification uh, before Shindy comes in and absolutely yeah, beats exactly. you. They have like a, like a rotor, like a group system. Mm. It's like, right. Uh, not uh, Grove this month we're going to see not here Grove. what's the other one Shampies no the other one near Grove Soho Tavern Soho Tavern that's, that's not near Grove. Grove no it's not near Grove the either. Grove is in Wolves Soho no, Tavern is on Soho Road no no Grove is behind Grove is behind um, Soho Road as well. Rookery Road they're both next to each other okay Grove is not Wolves oh, okay yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah Soho Tavern and they're like we have to go there oh, mm. oh wow it's like another doorstep used to be in your doorstep mm. but now people actually come from far like that's a night out like is, they have to drive a, full a dedicated day. driver like, i so. used to work with a guy who would shisha drive to london and he'd buy shisha in london on edgeware road do shisha there then go back to birmingham because he just could and wow. i thought okay if you can you can in it but yeah. yeah way too much time in his hands absolutely man wouldn't do that but yeah man people drop your comments on sky are you still using it are you still paying mm -hmm. for it fuck it out so expensive you know what the, the the novelty of sky was on demand sky plus but you can get on demand now with on virtually demand, everything platforms, yeah. it's just live events that's all it is and obviously with these dodgy box and things you can't record content but then it begs the question do you watch what you record i think sometimes like, do you watch it very occasionally yeah very it's occasionally. Not that, like i look at our storage on our skybox now and i'm like like no one deletes this stuff man no it's just sitting it there it sits there and I'm like just delete this stuff man no yeah. one watches this series bloody digital link. hoarding man we spoke about this a while ago yeah, yeah digital hoarding yeah. series link for come down with me yeah series 24 <laughs> 10 episodes I'm like no one's watching this shit man. yeah just just delete it just delete it yeah and everything's available on YouTube it, it is for the older generation I feel and Sky kind of needs to change their game a little bit they have tried to do that watch on feature have you seen it what it's where do you the remember in lockdown TV. you could if you were trying to watch them with someone, you call them and press play at the same time and you oh, message yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah. The They've button. got a built-in feature now into Sky that allows you to do that. But you can do that on Amazon, I think, anyway. Mm. So they're They've just got, um, trying to keep up. Sky Glass is the thing they're going to know. What is Glass? It's basically, there's no box. It's all in the TV. So you buy right. like a special TV, mm. like a sound bar and everything fit into it. There's no wire. It just needs one internet wire. And that's it. Wow. Everything's in there. Like, I get it. But again, so still, expensive. you're still paying premium. Very yeah. expensive. Mm. Jello. RIP Sky, sorry. Market's the market. 
The game is the game. The game is the game, absolutely. <coughs> All right, last segment. What's happening, my brother? You have, you have a. <laughs> You've never said that. What's happening, my brother? Oh, okay. I feel like you, you're trying to sell me something. No. Okay, you're doing this. Go on, finish your sentence. You've got something to show the audience, haven't you? Oh, you want to go straight there? I want to go straight in there. So remember, guys, straight we did that in. segment a while ago, and we talked about if you were going to get a man bag. Yes, we did. What was man bag? But you and said, you saw my man bag. I bought it on air, proudly. Man, your memory's so bad. You had a man bag? No, San, not Sanjay's one, the furry well, one. I, I, I wore one on... I, I bought one, and furry I wore one. it on air. The furry one? Not a furry one, but just like a black one. You know, the black one's the same brand as Shindy's bag. Oh my I remember, god, I remember, man, I remember you're oval, oval so shape. lost. Oval yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like a funny pack, but upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. Upstairs. <laughs> upstairs. <laughs> upstairs. <laughs> upstairs so we talked about yeah, you don't yeah. you don't want it branded overly top, like you know, my no, you don't. Louis. You don't no, want you a Chavi, you don't want Adidas. So I was in Dubai for a week, and that's why you haven't seen this for a week. And whilst I was there, we did a bit of shopping. That's all you can bloody do when it's 40 degrees, and you go and hang around the malls, and that's all people do. Mm. So one of the brands that I really like is Pull and Bear. And so <coughs> whilst I'm there. You'll be happy in India. I've got some hoodies now. Mm. So, you know, I had the, there was a hoodie band. I saw you wear one today. Post by oh. But you need to you need to wash it because it's got the, yeah, the lint on the inside. Yeah, it gets yeah. everywhere. But it looks good, doesn't it? You just turn it inside out. You like that colour, don't you? It's just duck green. Egg. Duck green. Duck egg. Green. <laughs> don't call it duck green. Duck green. Don't mess with the name. Duck green. Anywho, so we're at the uh, checkout and I see this man bag, right? And it's like... Now, you can have the vertical man bag. You can have what he has, which is a fanny pack, but upstairs. Or you can have like a, a man bag which sits this way. Okay. Rather than vertical, you don't understand what I mean. Right, let me just show everyone. What you yeah, go on. So, this is from Pull and Bear, guys. Yeah, yeah buddy. Boy. So, it's kind of like a matte finish. Yes. It's in black. It's waterproof. What I mean is you can have man bags which are like this. Mm. This orientation, mm. which I think then makes it look like a purse. Is it waterproof? <coughs> yeah. Okay. It's good, isn't it? I know you like it because you want to get one. You want I, I really do. Yeah. So do you, do you want me to do but I've got a bag problem already, so I don't know. Should we, should we see what's inside? Of course. Right, so we're just opening it now. Look at this unboxing experience. Right, Premium grade. Got, uh, got a salai. Salai. Very important. Which normally isn't there. I think I was just packing today. I'll pass it to India. India can show it off, really. So we have number one. Oh! You're in the mix with JSM. Yeah, buddy. My wallet was in there, but it's been taken out now. Look at this passport holder. Boarding pass. But you got Shindy's passport in here. Yeah. Why is the passport black? It's the new, it's the new uh, British. Is it black now? It's like navy blue, apparently. Uh, yeah. So, uh, nice. I like it. Um, this was. Wait, 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 wait. No one has <laughs> digital. No one has like real boarding passes anymore. Do you regret Sorry. having boarding pass on this side now? Yeah. It yeah, should have yeah, been yeah, like his, yeah. hers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone's got it digitally now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Shindy still prefers having a uh, physical one. Does she? Yeah. My card holder's not in here. It's in my other bag. That's okay. I have, I had my room card when I was on holiday. Yes, you did. In there. Had the car park, car park valet ticket. Mm. Can't use that, otherwise they can't track your car. And then I had random receipts. Yes. For business expenses, which is in this little money bag here. Yeah. Had my AirPods from time to time, and, and that's it. But it's a very effective bit of gear. So I had that, and I had my uh, normal Jan Sport. You changed. I just saw it, and it just spoke to me. And I said, you know, this I'm glad you've become this person. They got one. you with the impulse checkout. Nice. First time. Nice. But I was like, it's so good. Such good value for money as well. Yeah, it's twenty pound, man. That's cheap. Yeah, man, bag. So yeah, I was in Dubai. Um, I've got to give a shout out to <coughs> Aman. Aman is one of our listeners. Uh, Aman has, I think, I'm correct in saying, three children. Okay. And so nice thing happened. So we were flying to Dubai, and Shindy and I got bumped up. Now, as you know, as we've as I've maintained consistently on the podcast, following our India trip, I am free to sit wherever I want on the yes, plane. Yes, you are. Yeah. So I was bumped up to business which is nice, so going out there, overnight flight, flat seat. Now, the thing with business is every business, I've been in business before, but business in every airline is different. Yes. And it's not like, you know, you have a safety video. Mm. It's not like a video that explains all the different compartments and buttons. No. But the thing is, when you get there, there's two things you don't want to do. Fuck up. Well, yeah. So one, one is you don't want to make a video because then you make it look like, oh, it's my first time I've never been here, right? You don't yes. Because like, oh, there are people that do that. And I'm like, and you're watching like, okay. You but you're waiting for everyone to go to sleep, then you do the video. <laughs> the only reason I do the video is because you, like, you guys were like, oh, you're a bit of content. I was like, Tartika, Galen, yeah. And then the other thing is, yeah, you don't want to look silly when you're pressing the buttons, like you don't know what you're doing. Like simple things like, how do you close the door? Mm. How do you make the bed flat? It kind of reminded me of that scene, uh, Bride and Prejudice, have you seen it? I would have just asked, be like, 
buzz the button. I'm like, can like you yes. Show, can I'm you like, show me all the features. Show me everything so I don't have to bother you. Yeah, that's a good point. But they're so attentive in business. Of course they are. They yeah. have to be. You've been in business? No, I'd love to one day. Okay, so they, they <laughs> life goal. And you, and you doctor podcast, they're flying us out. That's there it. There you go. So you get there, you have welcome drinks on arrival. The, the one of the key features is you don't you don't eat when when they serve food. You eat when you want to eat. Yeah, that's pretty premium, isn't it? So you come and they give you a menu and they're like whenever you want food, just let us know. Mm. So you have your main your set meals, but there's loads of choices, and then you have your snack, which is at any point you want it. Um, multiple choices. Do the meals come out in like a different format? Is it like yeah, a plate, yeah. nice so, and fork? Yeah, yeah. Because you've got a full size. You don't, you don't get the little shitty tray. No, there, it's a more premium tray. Mm. But on within that, there is a proper plate, proper cutlery. Wow. Um, you have space and it, it's just... It's not like this. No, no, you've got your own compartment. So I had kind of like, you have like, it's like a little pod. That's the best way of thinking. Like in Halo, there's a lot yes. more things, right? So you, you're in the pod and your legs can go like this. And you've got a screen, which is much bigger. Premium headphones. You've seen the white company little... I mean, it's kind of you got. And it, well, yeah, all the other stuff that's in there as well. Cream and socks and whatnot. And then you've got all these compartments where you can put. Do you want to explain to people how you got bumped up first? I don't know, actually. I'm, I'm being really honest. Um, oh, the thing I told you, uh, I think it is. So I was pondering why. So we got to the check in counter and Kenny and Meher were dealing with the check in because everyone had to do bag drop and things. And, you know, like, okay, we're going for Nani's birthday. And I actually wasn't doing any of the talking. I was just at the back or whatever. And then I handed the passport to Kenny. He gave Shindy and I passports over. And then um, me being optimized, I was just like, right, at this point, we're not going to need trolleys. So we've got our carry on. So just organizing the hair on cases, putting the trolley away, just being organized, basically. And I think this is my theory, because this lady didn't let on, that <clears throat> it was because she thought I was being a good husband to Shindy and just doing everything while she stood there. I think that's what it might be. Wow. Because when we left, because we're going then towards security, and then I looked at our seats, and it's really funny, right? So, because I already had a premium seat, right? I was in premium economy. And then I was like, hold on. She's changed my seat. So I'm then about to storm back to speak to this lady. And Shindy's realized she's in a different seat. But then I'm like, my brain's like, hold on. The seat number is less. <laughs> the number is less, which means you're closer to the front. This is a good thing. Don't um, complain about this. Right. Do so not complain yeah, about then that. Yeah, the brain's still trying to like, you know, stop my body. And so then I stop myself. And then I look at the top of the physically printed boarding pass, which says, enjoy your complimentary upgrade on there. Oh, wow. I was like, hold on. Okay. And then Shindy had been, basically Shindy got bumped up to my seat. Mm. And then I got bumped to business. Um, and so whilst in business, I got visited by a very special young man, 17-year-old called Jaskirat, mm. Jaskirat Singh. So he is the son, one of the sons of Aman, who is one of our regular listeners, has mm. DM'd us many times before. I think she actually DM'd on the day and said, is Dr. Travis? She did, but I wanted to check with you if you wanted to disclose that information before I message back. Yeah, absolutely. Just because just I'm like, I kind of got to worry about his safety here. I don't know if he's comfortable with that or not. It's for the fans, isn't it? For the fans. I know, but it's always good to check with you instead of being like, yeah, go visit him. Yeah, He's yeah. on that flight. Make sure you sabotage him at the airport, right? <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Um, so yeah, he uh, he came and found me. I was sitting in business. I was just relaxing and uh, we had a nice probably 20 minute conversation. Did you let him sit in the pod? He came into the pod. But did you let him sit in the pod? He would have been on my Gordi. That would have been inappropriate. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that would not have been taken well. Yeah. <laughs> Come yeah. into my pod, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, and they were just like, just, just, do you watch the podcast? He goes, yeah, I really enjoy it. This is what I enjoy. Does he like, actually? Uh, yeah. And uh, and I was like, okay, so have you got any questions? Mm. And I thought maybe it'd be a podcast related question. He goes, because yeah. he's, he's 17, he wants to study pharmacy at university, he's doing A-levels. His question oh, was, have you got kid. any tips on revising? I was like, wow, like I have to really think about what he's doing on a rise. <clears throat> and now with all the kind of new knowledge I have from coaching land, I was like, what can I give him that will serve him well? And I basically, I just, I just told him about consistency. Start earlier, be consistent, do less every day, but do it for longer, rather than trying to cram. That will serve you well in life. Uh, and he, he was just really happy. Uh, and then when we came off the flight, we saw Aman. Mm. And I'm in so Shindy, and then she was like, "Oh, like you are actually his wife." Yeah, but she's like, "I know you. You like, exist. I know you. I know you think it's like the person that said to you, the Sukhmani I feel like I know you.' Yeah, yeah. That's always a really nice thing when people say to me, like, I feel like I know.' And I'm looking at them, and like, they wow. quote things. People quote things. Yeah. And I, I've forgotten the, some. Well, we forget most of the stuff we say. Yeah. And they're like, "Do you remember that bit when you did that?" I was like, "No, no." Nah. And, and you know, you did that. I was like, "Maybe." Yeah. Okay. Sounds like something. What, 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 what was I talking about? And then, but it's really nice. And. uh so yeah, just shout out. That was, was really nice. So yeah, I've been in Dubai. Dubai is very hot. Um, when you're driving on the right-hand side of the road, key key thing is you'll have this tendency to veer to... The left. 
the no you veer to the wrong side because you're not used right. to it so you start veering the, right. the passenger you side to the right. and your yeah. passenger driver has to say you're veering lane you lane so shindy, shindy does lane but the hack I, the hack here's a hack right what you do is your driver side wing mirror pop it down a little bit so you can clearly see the line the division on the road <clears throat> focus or think think and tr try and drive on that line you'll never be able to because you just won't be able to but and then what you do is when you check when you've just driven past it you'll see you're keeping tight to that line but keeping tight to that line you'll be fine on that side what i've forgotten is though that the fast lane is completely opposite so kenny and i as we're approaching the hotel are in the left hand side lane thinking it's the slowest lane like in england and just no, getting fast, like, fast flashed getting and razzed. beeped and I'm like, what is your problem, man? Yeah. Like, just be kind. No one is kind there. No one gives a <sighs> shit. Like, you're trying to get in and you're clearly trying to leave on an exit and you're being nice and indicating. I don't give shit. They do not give a shit, man. Like, I'm there like flashing everybody in, like, yeah, giving way. I don't think they understand what the flashing is. No, they is. don't. Um, and I'm doing the thing where like traffic's building up, put the hazards on to indicate I'm slowing down. They don't seem to understand that either. They don't really seem to understand a lot on the road. Did you know, theoretically, if you do give someone way and you point and then they take that right of way and there's an accident, you're liable. Did not know that. That's why whenever I stop and give someone way, I try, I don't always do this, I try and not raise a hand or do this, I just stop the car. Because then you're not what? Because then if someone says you gave me way, I said, no, I'll stop my car, I didn't gesture or anything. Oh, indeed. And people will look at that and think you're a knob, but so I'm you like, just, no, you just you're, slow actually, the car. you're you liable. Flash. No, I just stop, I don't flash, I just, just, slow, I just down. I slow down interesting that's harder to know though isn't it like from the person it is but i'm like there you go that's the only signal i'm gonna give you that's it boss yeah oh, interesting i didn't know that um so yeah dubai was good went on the fastest roller coaster in the world ferrari world that was quick you have to wear goggles you wear Why? goggles because it's that fast you wear goggles on your eyes and they say do, don't put your hands in the air because and i realize now like if you did you try and do it and your arm would just get like pulled oh my god it's it's fast and you try and scream and you, your face is like coming off how was the picture how was the picture after yeah we forgot to look at the picture but there was a picture you should have been your face yeah. mask um yeah trying to scream and my bubble came off and um, the hair bubble yeah so by the end basically I just, my hair was all open hang on was kenny wearing a bug kenny was on it he didn't go he was somewhere else in the mall it's just me was anyone him. wearing a bug no no it's just me but him and Jad. We, we were on it okay and uh but yeah that's pretty quick <laughs> uh we didn't do the indoor skiing although we had intentions of doing it yes um, yeah, it was really nice. It was really nice. A lot of family time, good food. Good. I'm glad you come back feeling a bit Absorbed refreshed nice. or whatever you want to say. Yeah, so yeah, we've had an intense day. Good back. family time. We have. Yeah, but yeah. you wanted to bite the bullet and exactly. get straight to it. Pot in the morning, pot in the evening. Bus. No other way. Nice one. Yeah. What's been happening with you? Uh, that picture up there, people. For those that don't see, I hope this is a wide shot. If nice. not, throughout the episode, you would have seen on YouTube. We have a painting up there, and that painting is from one half of the Bain Senior podcast. I'm Rich Sani, aka A Sani on instagram a y s a i n y e yep yep on instagram mad painter very mad artist very yeah. talented mm. he drew that for me and sanj me and sanj wanted a seven person portrait of the bangada legends of the world i had input which is super nice of sanj because i'm not the bangada head she is but she gave me a chance to say uh, have some input who have we got on the going we got so Gadasman. Finger. Jazzy yeah, B, Dasman, you got Jazzy B, Sajid Bindrakia, Bindrakia, Kaka Paniwala, and Lembert. And Lembert. Yeah. And Lembert, which is very surprising to you. L Lembert was an interesting choice to me. Yeah, I think Surinder Shinda would, I think would be more yeah. fitting for me. But um, still, like all legends in the game, um, I think the likeness of, for me, Diljit is the most. Yeah, very, very um, good. I'm looking at it now, actually, in, yeah. in the camera. Yeah, Dasman looks it's very, good. very happy. It's really good. But yeah, man, the walls are complete now. Like, look, you can see on the one side, I got my main man, Kobe. Hmm. And on that side, we've got the Bangarat artist. Nice little, the studio is nice and complete now here. And maybe in the future, like you've seen the portrait done for me in Dubai, maybe. I'm I will not get a caricature of me on the wall. No, no caricature. We'll, we'll have a proper painting done of us. Like maybe like in shot. Can do. That would actually be really nice. Can do. But that would be kind of like a weird inception. Because mm. they'll be behind us and yeah. we'll be like. Yeah, they're looking at us. Okay. Yeah, it'll be interesting. <laughs> Even the strategic positioning of the plant there today. Yes, Next guys, can me. you see that this Buddha is alive? This is the key thing I want you to take away here. Everything Thank you. else has died in this house, yes, flower-wise. But this Buddha, for some reason, I think you're overcompensating. Uh, the Buddha is, it real? is actually is it real? one that doesn't need to be watered very is, often. Oh, that's it. That's, see, basically, they've taken away the human element. Mm. Um, is it real, though? Was it a fake Buddha? It is real. Sorry, it's real. Yeah. Fair play. Just needs barely any pony. That's all. Just needs barely anything, doesn't it? Just Sorted. Zero. As long as the indie stays away from it. Optimize. Optimize, baby. There you go. I need to stay about Barbieheimer. Gone. before we finish yeah. i saw it 
great you had day that, out. You had that day, didn't you? Great day out. Like a whole... Whole day off work. What was your Woke interlude? up in the morning. Huh? What did you do in the middle? So we went to a shopping center. And in that shopping center, we got there, saw the film Bang on Time. Which, Barbie. What was your first timing? Barbie. Yeah, what time? Midday. Okay, start So midday. we got out by about two. And then food? Food. Okay, and then? And then Oppenheimer at about five. Because of three o'clock, three hour film. So we did some shopping, walk around, chill. Uh, then went to Oppenheimer, saw that was out by about half eight, nine. Nice, a full day. It's probably full day. Yeah, it was yeah. a full day. Okay. Wicked. Really happy I did both of them. Excellent. Um, glad there was a break in between. I couldn't have done them both back to back. Back to back is hard. Very different films. Uh, a lot of outrage caused by Barbie, which is unnecessary. It's just a fucking good film. I, I thought it was a nice, happy, mm. funny film, taking the piss out of toxic masculinity, over the top feminism. It's yeah. just taking the oh, mick really? out of both sides. And I was like, okay, it's, a balance. it's worth seeing. Yeah, because I thought... I, I'm man enough to laugh at the things that guys do and I'm like yeah we do that yeah we do that <laughs> yeah. yeah we do that like I'm not going to be like no no I'm not insecure no, no, I'm no, like no. we What's definitely do there? that it's fine yeah. and then the girls are laughing at a couple of things that they do and I looked around afterwards when the film had finished and I was the only guy in the cinema so there we go interesting yeah and they were thinking like he wants to pay his dues I was like no I actually wanted to see this well done you I wanted to see Ryan Reynolds and Margot Robbie on screen and the funny thing nice is, at the very end of the film, Sandra said to me, star of the show was is Ryan Reynolds. And not not any of the Margot bodies. Robbie. No, oh, it's Ryan Reynolds. Okay. So I just thought, there you, go. there you go. And that's based on, that's no bias or anything. She just thought he did a really good job in the role. Very good supporting cast member. Fair I haven't seen either of them yet. I am planning to do it. And that. Oppenheimer's a tough watch. Do you find tough? Long watch, it is gets, that what you mean? It gets complicated during it. So I got lost a couple of times in it when it was on. Really? People the last said you hour need to understand film, like physics and this, this, You don't need this. to understand it, but you need to remember names. Oh, uh, to follow it. Okay, yeah, okay. there's a lot of characters and a lot of moving parts. Now, the last hour I really enjoyed because it was a bit simpler. <laughs> okay. Not in that way. It's just they simplified the storyline mm. and what was happening was something you could easily follow. It's Christopher Nolan, yeah? Batman. Yeah, Nolan, mm. same guy. Yeah, yeah. And he, he took a lot of the same cast as well from he does, the yeah, Batman, Batman films yeah, yeah. and he keeps them in. No, but like, a lot of uh, directors think he was his face. Um, Quinty Tarantino. Yes. Will work with certain people again yes. and again. And it's just, Adam Sandler. Yeah. <laughs> he does the uh, same Martin thing. Martin Scorsese. Yeah. Does the same thing with Leonardo DiCaprio. So certain go. people like certain... Russell Crowe with um, Ridley Scott. Yeah. So people like their, their actors. Yeah. So I get that. I like that. Cillian Murphy, I've seen a lot about him recently. So good. Great actor, great method actor. But outside of that, when he does interviews, he's just... Irish. Glatcha, man. Yeah, he's Irish, number one, but he's yeah. glatcha. He's just not there, is he? Which means glatcha? He's just, like, no emotion, nothing. There was the whole thing they said about, apart from the BBC interview, where he's, like, actually smiling, everything else, he's just like, yeah, good. Okay, he doesn't have a phone or something, he doesn't have social media, he's proper, like... Fair play. Old. Yeah, fair play. <laughs> but as in, you know, like, when you see a character and you expect the person in real life, I, I guess, like, you know, Indian Doctor... People think we're going to be a certain way in real life. Now, no, what's interesting is I am who I am on the podcast, whereas you, if you get recognized, oh, all right, how you doing? Yeah, okay, yeah cool. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're different. Whereas on here, you're like proper animated. Yeah, of course I do, because it's content. Yeah, exactly. This is what you got to do. But, you're, see, you're like silly Murphy. But I'm not going to switch it on and off when I meet people. I'm like, no, this is how I actually am off camera. I'm a yeah. normal member of society. I don't, I don't do anything different. I'm just, yeah. just well, like I'm you. Just all the I'm time. just like you. I just turned on a camera. That's all I did. <laughs> Because I'm like, yes, yes, I am. Dr. I am, I am him. Yes, yes that is yes. I. Yes. Would you like a picture? Portrait Don't picture? ever say that early. Always let people say that to you first. Awesome. That is courtesy. Because I'm like, no, I don't want a picture. I just want to say I recognise you. Because you'll be like, oh, okay. Picture, <laughs> oh, come on, yeah. I'm here now. Come you on, may guys. As well, huh? You know, picture paint, sir. <laughs> Thousand words. Idiot. You want to be signed? Sign card, the Oh Jesus, sign no, signature! Bro, wow. <laughs> just pull out a pen and pull the cup. Yeah, they haven't even asked. Let me sign your top. Yeah, yeah. It's a new design. It's a nice t-shirt. Don't matter. Versace. Oh, Goini. Doctor, yeah, yeah. Goini, I've, I've made it worth more now. There you go. Cello. That's it. Cheers for listening, people. We will catch you next week. Lovely. Thanks for the feedback and the reaction videos, by the way. Very, very much appreciated. Catch my body. More will be coming soon. It's just time. Yeah. And uh, capacity. But there will be some more. There will, will be some more. We have a good list. All right. Thank you for the suggestions. Wait, wait, wait. Final thing. Time, Go on. time giveaway. Oh, fuck. Satavajiki. Satavajiki. Yeah, you need to do it. Me. Yara Mara Telefon. Pandra. Okay. 15. B. 
But 25, 20, 26, no. B, the Pangara. No, B, no, no. the Pandra meant no, Bajage. No, 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 no. It's 25, not 15. 25? Yeah, 15 would be 15. 715 would be Saba, Sata. No, it's Pachi. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Yeah, yeah. So Sata Bajage. Sata Bajage. Pachi. Pachi. Mint. Mint. Sata Bajage, Pachi meant. I need yeah. to try that one more. I will yeah, do. Yeah. Or you can do the opposite, which is what's 60 minus? Oh, Jesus, 25? 40. 40. No, it's not 40. Charlie, Charlie. Yeah, That's 20. Oh, 35. no, 35. I don't 20, know what 35 20, is. 20, 20. Penti. So, art of a jinnu? Penti meant. Rende. Rende. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> that was easier. That was easier. Anyway, well done. Guys, if you learn some Punjabi, it's great. And uh, like Edie said, we'll see you on the flippity flip. Yes, we will. See, see you next week. week. In a bit. Bye bye. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the rest of our episodes here. And don't forget to subscribe here. We'll see you guys on the next one.